It's Wednesday, Grace, family, and friends. Hope you uh, are enjoying this week, making it through. It's hump day. You're halfway through the week. Let's keep on going. I'm discussing with you the vocal manifestations that Paul gives to us in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verse 10. Also, some instructions about these manifestations and how they operate in 1 Corinthians, the 14th chapter. Yesterday, we talked about prophecy, that spirit prompted, that spirit sustained supernatural utterance rooted in true revelation that builds others up to help them stand, it motivates and inspires them to carry on and to carry out, and it ministers comfort to them, cheering them up and encouraging them. I want to look at, real quickly, diversity of tongues today. This is the delivering of a public message from Father in a super, supernatural language as Holy Spirit gives utterance and it conveys the heart of the Father to the church. Remember, it's a supernatural utterance by Holy Spirit in an unknown or unlearned language. And it's not understood from the mind of the speaker. And it has nothing to, to, to do with natural linguistic uh, ability. Um, it, when we look at uh, tongues, remember it's supernatural and it's a vocal miracle. Tongues or glossalia. Uh, in Greek is the uncertain affinity, a language not naturally acquired. This, ex this gift was, uh, and manifestation was especially prominent in the New Testament church. If you'll go throughout the Old Testament, you can find miracles and healings, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, prophecy. Um, but all of those took place in the Old Testament, but we don't find um, in the Old Testament uh, the speaking in a language not known to man or tongues. And this is what Jesus says as he commissions us as his disciples in the new covenant. And he says, these signs shall follow all of those who believe. This is Mark 16, 17. And in my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Um, now, tongues given publicly uh, addressing the congregation must operate in conjunction with another manifestation called the interpretation of tongues. We're going to look at that tomorrow. And then Friday, I want to come back and give you some of the difference between the diversity of tongues. This is found in 1 Corinthians 14, if you want to read ahead, and a prayer language. I hope you'll join us tomorrow and Friday as we wrap it up. God bless. Have a great day.